What is up, everybody in YouTube land? How you doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Again. We're going to do another movie review. So, I do have my handy dandy trusty notes as usual. I am not a professional. I do not play one on YouTube. I'm not going to remember all this. So, I have my notes. The movie is Dark Knight of the Scarecrow. It came out in 1981. Or two. We'll say 81. The cast is Charles Durning as Otis. Robert F. Lyons as Skeeter. Claude Earl Jones as Philby. Lane Smith as Harless. Tanya Crow as Mary Lee. Larry Drake as Bubba. Hey, Bubba. There's a whole cast and crew. Uh, you're going to notice a lot of these people. They've been in a million movies. Uh, so there's a lot of, of really big people in there, even for back in uh, 81. So the story goes a group of over the top Vigilante wrongfully kill a mentally challenged man, thinking he killed a small child, but oh how things go wrong very fast. Kind of like a life. God, did it ever go wrong? <sighs> man. So my thoughts... My opinions. Let's do this. Going into this, I knew ha I had seen it before. But it's been at least 20, 25 years ago. At least. So it was like watching it for the first time. Uh, without even knowing the story, you can see where this movie's going about as soon as we see our first characters, Bubba and Mary Lee. Um, our band of vigilantes are what you would expect in a small nothing of a town. Big headed, quick to judge, and quick to take the law into their own hands. Vigilantes. Mm. What are we going to do with them? Without giving too much away, let's just say someone gets revenge on these idiots. The characters in this movie are all well done, well cast, and by actors that have quite the background. The music, the atmosphere are very well done. Uh, there's a definite sense of suspense uh, and eeriness, really from the start to the end. Like from the start of the credits, the opening credits, the music's all screechy and kind of, it's pretty well done. Uh, the set, uh, location, uh, shows a small town as it is, farmhouses, fields, uh, and uh, a lot of twisted, quick-to-judge people. Um, you know there will be some deaths in this movie. We know that. We're not crazy. Thankfully, they are kind of gruesome. But tastefully done. Nothing is much shown uh, and left to your imagination. I like that sometimes. I actually like that quite a bit sometimes. Um, I'm glad I watched this after so many years. It's well done. Very well done, in my honest opinion. The story is straightforward, so you get invested in the movie. And that's how a horror kind of a revenge suspense movie should be that's how any movie should be you shouldn't have to sit here and get confused and try to figure things out I don't want to watch the Matrix again I still ain't got it still don't man anywho that's my quick review of this movie I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5 for this type of movie for the year uh, I just think it's well done. It caught my attention. I 
was interested and the characters are well done and everything I, I, you know and it's not a big high budget movie it don't come across that way anyways and so I just I feel like it does a really good job uh, and at a decent pace as well so I'm good with this and guys thanks for watching I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe comment share like all that good stuff I do all this for free no monetization no ads that I'm aware of um, I just it, it gives me something to do and I enjoy it so if you're looking for some free entertainment my kind of entertainment I guess uh, hook up to my channel it's a it's a good clean decent channel so guys I'm gonna go get something to eat and I'm gonna leave you with this thought right here get up get out get ready and do it to it even while doing a movie review this is Casey Kasem and I thank you for watching now go watch that movie